Okay, folks. Good evening from Thailand, everybody. I'm Tangi. Tangi. I'm French, actually. So never mind. Today we are the fourth of June, two thousand and sixteen. And yeah, I didn't make a review of um, CM fourteen nightlies uh, for the Galaxy S three i nine thousand three hundred four months. After I make the last, the latest review I made was the 6th of May, I think. So let's go with that new build from today. And you can see that I've got a notification. Lock screen bug is gone, so you can click, you're gonna have no shit. Here is all working. Uh, every tiles on the lock screen are working. Flashlight, sync, every stuff are still working. Themes work. Uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, auto rotation, everything is working fine. So that's uh, the basic stuff. I use Google Now Launcher since with Trebuchet Launcher, this the stock. Uh, I'm gonna show you the stock launcher after. So here it is. Let's go to about phone. Uh, so it, this is CM13 uh, nightly version, which is like a beta testing version. Uh, of 04 June 2016. So it's based in Android 6.0.1, which is Marshmallow. So it's great because uh, I mean the performance are really great for um, for the Galaxy S3. I mean you've got a Galaxy S3, and you've got the Android version that it's even newer than I don't know the Asus Zenfone 2. Yeah. So you've got the latest security patch, which is May 1st. Our uh, kernel version, we it's Inky. Uh, the latest from the third June, the yeah, the from the first and the third were not inky. It was uh, clicky or whatever. I don't remember. The EPI of CM is six. It's big. Uh, you've got all the updates. I've got on this all the stable relays that I think that are suitable for daily driver. Twenty six zero three. It's pretty old. It's uh, three months ago very stable uh, the 23 of last month very stable as well the first of June was uh, the first of yeah good for the first of June but the 04 is way better so <coughs> nothing new actually uh, except the performance uh, options are the same uh, whether something you've got uh, you can choose the temperature unit you have Yahoo with a provider which is a new app feature from CM at first they have only the CM when the ground which you had to make a lot of stuff to get an API or whatever uh, status bar uh, yeah the only f new thing from guys who come from very very old night is, is you've got themes so you just click here and it goes to the themes and the themes are working I'll show you later uh, camera you can now uh, for those who have been using the past nightlies of June, like, uh, not of June, I mean of the 30, 29 and 30 of May, you couldn't click on the task on this, on the menu here, yeah, the, the right button, and some, you could just click on the home button and the back button, which was annoying sometimes when you're in a camera and you want to switch. Uh, to another app so it's fixed in this build I've got Facebook up. music player is working fine I listen music every day when I'm at work let's go back to settings uh, home launcher let me show you the trebuchet launcher <coughs> so yeah the trebuchet is very smooth I mean you don't have the Google stars bar messing around with you the only bug that I found is with the folders you can see for example if, if oops if I move that up right here the text it's not centered or I think the guidelines are a bit messed up or whatever so that's why I used a short text app and I put them there otherwise I will fuck everything up you see for example oops nope I only back in games so that's the only problem and I, I had a false close on the nightly of the third I think so yeah but the launcher is very smooth i mean it's i think it's optimized for that compared to the google now launcher it's very smooth 
but uh, yeah so in the google now launcher there is it's actually pretty much the same a bit like on that animation there since it's because you, you have that status bar which is here for nothing the the google now card stuff is on the left side so you can just swipe and the, yeah then the folders are way cooler i like it but yeah the white background uh, but you cannot change, you don't have so much customization. In the Tribuche launcher, you can change the background, this one to dark, transparent black. So, yeah. Uh, we've got a new thing, which is the new browser, which is the Jello browser. Which is very great. It's a new browser, uh, which pretty, it's pretty like uh, Google Chrome, I mean, on those stuff. So, you, you can see, it's by default, you have dark theme so yeah this is how it looks like so you can tap here and you can add this the, the to your bookmarks and the bookmarks you can just access them here so you can see all of them it's very good still don't have a syncing account yet but it's a new feature cm14 and it's very great browser better than the chrome browser in chrome i've got sometimes some error when i try to to add some to the favorite it always crash when I add a bookmark sometimes I don't know why so I use this new launcher which is very cool more faster than the old one uh, so le let's see what new we have yeah we've got Google new on now on tap by long pressing this does work uh, the voice recognition okay Google uh, okay Google yeah uh, I need a French accent because I'm French so that's my trick Play Store is working uh, gallery video are working fine let me show you some uh, for example let's see some drift video uh, let's go with that this is a 4k video now I yeah uh, Google now and tap is messing up so this is working fine videos are working fine this is really great yeah the Google now is trying to fuck me up uh, launcher, yeah, this is Halo. Works fine. And you just have to swap here. Games performance are greater than before. I can tell you that. I won't show you a game now. Uh, because I just want to do a very quick review that shows the updates of the ROM itself and not uh, the performance. It's, it's nightly, so the performance will be better or worse depending on, on what will happen and the, the, the new updates that we will have but the, for now the uh, same team is going very great they have a lot of new features like the browser uh, the weather and uh, I mean yeah you you can have the weather and I mean it's a really cool stuff I, I love the new snap camera you've got a ton of update for that all the settings that you can set you yeah you have a new anti-bending which is now an auto mode uh, you, you've got like modes that you didn't have in CM 12.1 you've got FX right here yeah you've got some that still not working or oh, they're working but the image doesn't show up okay I get it so yeah this is pretty cool you even got panorama mode which is working I took some picture of panorama even if I'm not that good that's what matters uh, so yeah, let's. I, I'll show you the themes, but uh, not in that device. Uh, this one is my daily driver. The 3G works. Uh, Wi-Fi is working. Uh, in this build, uh, I'll tell you the truth. In the build of the first uh, and the free, I had some Wi-Fi drop. I won't lie about this. The Wi-Fi always dropped. Sometimes depends. Sometimes often uh, the, the duration of the drop time. It's not always the same, but hit today. I fly. I flash this one. Uh, for example, at my work, I have very poor Wi-Fi. I'm gonna. It's a shitty Wi-Fi, and it's <laughs> it's dropping every time I turn off the screen, and maybe 30 minutes it will drop. I flash at nightly. I wait maybe one hour because I have to flash CM 10.1 to a friend on a Galaxy Tab 2 uh, 7 inch. And I, the Wi-Fi didn't drop once, so uh, it's just a one-day test. So I'm gonna tell you more about that maybe, and 
anyway, the updates uh, I'll post in XDR developers in the official CM14 thread for the Galaxy S3 i9300. And that's it. What I, I really want something CM CM. If you can see that video, you in CM12.1 we had like a, you can swipe down to see the history what you have calculated before and it's not present anymore in CM14 I would really like back because because it's a very useful features I mean a lot of people use it and a lot of people need that features as well uh, I think that's why most of the yeah there, there'll be a part of people who will be in the unofficial build of CM12.1 since sure it's maybe a bit more stable because uh, it's 12.1 and you have the drop down I think it's very useful when I use CM 12.1 that calculator I can just for example if I just divide and oh I, I forgot what was it and I cannot just I, I can't just slide back to see what I did in CM 12.1 I could do that which is really great a notification yeah uh, I think yeah so that's one thing I really want back and Thanks CM for improving on the, the, the really great stuff and the new features that you has had like the browser. And for the messenger, I we would all really love the colors back. I mean, you, you did something great to bring the green back with that blue uh, fat button. But yeah, we really want the color accents like we have in the phone. That was a really great, very good stuff. And we love it. So yeah, that's all. Maybe uh, I definitely really recommend you to flash that ROM as a daily driver, uh, since the performance are great. I mean, you can use it as a daily driver. Maybe you won't use the Google Now launcher because yeah, the, that animation lags a bit if you compared to the um, to the Trebuchet launcher. But I'm sure it's because of the um, that sorry Google that damn search bar. Yeah. We were talking about AI open project. So you can see in the trebuchet launcher, it's yeah, it's it's cool. You don't have that um, search like this. You don't have that um, search bar to annoy you. So it's very simple. You you can customize like uh, let me see, draw color dark, and you have that dark drawer. So it saves you some battery if your background is black. Sure. And uh, so now let me show you the themes on the other device. Just wait a minute. Okay. So this is my over S3, which is my test device. Uh, I didn't flash the today's nightly because uh, I forget. Usually, I normally I always flash a nightly on that device to test before flashing it on the other one because if it turns bad then that's that's gonna be bad for my phone and it's my daily driver so this is the dark theme uh, material black by it's a paid theme yeah from Mattis van Hoosen yeah very good theme I really recommend you guy to use that theme since it turns everything black and when I say black it's pure black for example, yeah, you can, you can just turn the brightness at 100%. The only thing things that will change is the the things that are not black, and yet the settings are all black. You've got all the sections, and it does really save battery. I mean, really, this is an AMOLED display, and you will have some battery info improvement. So I'll make a quick thing: how to flash via OT updater the ROM. So you go to about phone. You go Cyanogen mode updates, you download from here, I already downloaded it, you can see I'm on the nightly 03. Uh, you go here, you tap here and you do update. You will need or the CM recovery or uh, I use TWRP recovery. You have to use at least version 3.0.0.0. If you use a uh, clockwork mode, it will don't work. It won't work for sure. It is out of date. You cannot use that ROM. That's uh, recovery for this ROM. So I recommend you guys if you want a simple ROM. Uh, for example, you have 
you don't update your gapps too much you you use like a nano gaps you don't use the aroma installer just use the cm recovery which is not bad and if you use the a lot of aroma installer you will need the TA, twrp recovery i'll post a link to twrp website in the description and yeah that's it you click on update and it will reboot into recovery you will see and it will do the process of installing the rom first once it will install that zip file it will automatically wipe the dalvik the cache for you and then reboot and optimize the apps and you don't have to do anything so you just can for example oh you have an update but you have to go somewhere i mean maybe you have a meeting just click and it will do it for you when it's done it will just reboot so you say use 3.0.1.0 uh, so you see it flash it automatically then you will see it will wipe i won't show you the whole process since it takes some time <coughs> so yeah that's it for today guys this was the cm13 nightly of June 2016. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe for my channel. Send me some messages if you want to see some special ROM. I'm focusing on CM13 official and uh, CM12.1 unofficial build since it's Lollipop and Marshmallow on your Galaxy S3 and it brings a lot of performance boost. I mean, you, you will have better performance for sure because you won't have all the blood wears, stuff like this. And for sure, uh, you have all the CM latest security patch, Android, the latest Android version, uh, all the updates, and you've got frequent updates for all of them. Oh. I mean, for CM 12.1, you will have to, you don't have the OT updater, but it's still a great ROM. I'll make a review of uh, the latest official, unofficial stable release soon. So yeah, that's it for today guys and I hope you enjoy this video. Let's see, let's show you. I, it's faster than I expected, so you see. Refine the uploaded uh, system image and after that we'll do all the crap and you will have wipe system partition and reboot, optimizing apps and you get the latest.